Yo, what's up guys and welcome to my next round of the RBY Cup. Now I know some of you guys don't enjoy this as much, which is fair. Um, I can definitely understand why. RBY has, well from what I've been showing, well, there's a lot of hacks involved and you know, same Pokemon and whatnot. But uh, I am definitely am still trying in this tournament, so hopefully I can at least do well. And then you guys uh, at least continue to enjoy me playing. And if you don't, I'm sorry, there, there's other videos on my channel and I do upload like twice a day. So anyway, we have Alakazam versus Starmie lead. I definitely just want to click Thunder Wave. Um, you too. I definitely also want to endorse Spectators if anybody wants to join in. I think Thunder Wave is just my best play. Yeah, uh, he's gonna do the exact same thing. Yeah, the yellow color is definitely uh, my my best play versus him. Because um, while he can spam Seism Toss and whatnot. I think I actually just want to boom with the Executor as well. Huh. Because I don't want my own Alakazam getting weakened. I'm going to double onto my Executor here. On his para. Yeah. I kind of just want to boom, but we're going to go for Psychic. I'll just start weakening him a little bit as he does Thunder Wave me. Uh, I believe I can still just spam the exact same move. I could also go for Sleep Powder, expecting him to switch. Uh, Executor's boom should Oko this thing, right? Alakazam, oh you stand it. To be honest, I should have just went hard into Executor right here, but we're gonna boom as he gets full pair, which doesn't matter, and we're gonna be able to knock out Alakazam. Great. So, um, right here, your own, your own could come out. I actually like Alakazam as well because I can Thunder Wave something at <laughs> the same time. He does go Lax. Uh, I do have my own Reflect Lax right here, unless he's Boom uh, of his own. He does like Counter Lax though, Counter Self Destruct if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna go Route to Snorlax as he goes for that body slam and we're just going to reflect up ah counter now the thing about counter is it does not work on uh, it only works on normal and fighting type attacks so I can actually freely click earthquake here because he won't be able hey friend he won't be able to hurt me with that I want to go for body slam uh, actually no I have star me as already sleep powder and unless they have mega drain which doesn't do any damage anyway Starmie can switch in, and we can just click Thunder Wave right here on either the Executor or even Chansey. I did not want to get it on Chansey, I'm not going to lie, but though Thunder Wave and Chansey does mean that Snorlax can beat it 1v1. Yeah, so we'll go Snorlax right now as he beams. Uh, this is bad because he could potentially freeze me. So I think I want to rest immediately. Yeah, I don't even I don't even want to deal with that. I don't want to be potentially frozen by this mon. Uh, he can go for Psychic if he wants to. Again, Paralyzing Chansey is going to be good for uh, Rhydon as well as this in the background. And we can go Route to Starmie and just click Psychic of our own. He does get the special drop though. But uh, we will click Recover here because Chansey is definitely a play my opponent can make. Nice. And we're going to Thunder Wave. I don't care if you go Chansey of your own. I mean, which is definitely fair because you can go for your Beam. I'm actually going to Psychic here, just in case he wants to double. Yeah, as he goes Lax. We'll Thunder Wave Lax as well. Because we do eat up any attack he wants to go for. Unfortunately, we have Fully Paralyzed. Uh, you could have Hyper Beam here. I'm actually going to double onto my Rhydon, just in case he Hyper Beams. As he goes for another Body Slam. Doesn't get the Para, though, thankfully. And what I'm actually going to do is Sub, because I expect Executor to want to come out, and I can, go for the, uh, I can go for the Body Slam versus that. He does have Earthquake, however. That's, you know what? Even weakening Eggy for my Tauros in the back. Like, Tauros is still looking very good versus him. How much did Psychic do last time? Did 19. I hate letting Alakazam get paralyzed. But I think I need to get, let Alakazam get paralyzed here. As he goes for Sleep Powder and unfortunately misses. That sucks. We're going to get level out onto our Starmie on his uh, Stun Spore. Or double sleep powder, that's fine too, as we can recover off. Double edge gets a crit, so he's going to be able to knock me out. And now I'm going to have to go out into my uh, Alakazam. And Thunder Wave right here. As he goes, chances. So it's not looking the best for me, but where there's a Snorlax, there is a way. Where there is a Snorlax, there is a way. Especially because he's paralyzed. So we'll burn off that first turn of sleep. Like, there's definitely still a way of winning this. As he goes, Executor. 
and gets a special drop right away. No, RBY, help me. Uh, he can sleep out of here, but then he could just double edge after. Yeah, if he wants to go for psychic, that's fine. Uh, as long as he's not getting these special drops automatically or always. Still burning a couple sleep turns. It's not looking too good for Lax. Uh, right on, still the best play. See if he gets the para. He does not. And he lets me get off the damage on Lax. Which is exactly what I need for Tauros in the back. So Tauros is still looking really good. I actually want to rock Psychic as a 75 base power. But yeah, can it also hits uh, Executors for some decent damage. How much does Tauros do to Eggy though? That's the question. Because the game's far from over. Uh, Executor. Hyper Beam. It's 45 to 53. Yeah, he's in range. So I'm going to sack this and go out to Tauros. Thing is, I have to Hyper Beam in order to knock him out. I'm hoping he knows that. Which is why I'm going to Body Slam here. As he goes slow, bro. Oh, man. Not the bro. Not the bro. This is just amnesia boosting. I think I lose to just slow, bro. Because he can just Thunder Wave me. Oh, we're going to let Lax come in on the Thunder Wave. And just rest. Because if he goes his own Lax, I'm assuming he'll boom. I have to let him boom here. Too. Yep. So I have to let him boom on Snorlax. Or excuse me, on Alakazam. Because my Snorlax is my way of winning. Especially if he's paralyzed. We go Tauros. We double out into our Snorlax. And he can go for Amnesias. But... Because uh, the thing is, this can win. The 1v1. But he can still miss Sleep Powder. I have to go for the uh, I have to go for the bison there. He actually booms, which is fine because I can still outspeed him. As Tauros is gonna come out, and uh, I don't think he has to go for hyper beam. So we're gonna rest, man. Okay, the thing is, I can still win with Tauros. I'm just getting all the plays wrong. I'm getting the 50/50s wrong right here because he had to hyper beam there to kill me. But if I went Tauros, he couldn't kill me with hyper beam, and now he can go for hyper beam again. Luckily, he can't paralyze me. I can't do the same to him. So there's going to be some Tauros Wars here. And I have to go for the Body Slams to get the kills. He could switch out to Slowbro, but we have to go for the Hyper Beam Crit or the, uh, or the Speed Tie as we get it. Nice. And uh, Slowbro does how much to me? Toby, bro. Surf does 30. I have to go for the Body Slam Paralysis if I want to win. I get the Crit and we get the Para. We get the Crit and the Para, though. Hyper Beam does kill. Does he go Chansey here is the question. Because Hyper Beam does kill Slowbro. Even if he goes Chansey, I think I'm, I'm still fine to click Hyper Beam. Yeah, because we kill Tauros, and I think we can still win this game. Uh, Earthquake does 28, 28 plus at the min, I don't kill. He could be counter. I think I have to risk that. Did he crit me? Or was he counter? He got the crit. Ah, I could have won the game right there. I brought it back too. All right, so it looks like he doesn't have anything for my own uh, Tauros. Ah, man. I could have brought it back. I mean, RBI has played the odds, but I could have definitely brought that back. I like this Jinx team a lot. That would have been such a clean win too. Like if I, uh, All I had to do was hit the Hyper Beam after. Oh, we're doing this again. So lovely kiss, uh, Jinx 1v1's Jinx, or the Jinx are Jinx Wars, and there's the standard miss from both sides. Let's go for another one, get it, nice, and he gets the immediate zero turn wake. <laughs> this time he hits it. <laughs> that last one would have been such a clean win. But he can psychic me, but I still can, I can still break through. I'm pretty sure this guy is, has his replays shown. Alright, so Snorlax comes out. I do have rest on my own lax. Let's 
Which also seems to be my answer to this mod. This is my answer. I don't care if he has counter. I need to weaken this guy. Then again, I think booming is actually the better, the smarter play. If he switches, but even even then, killing his own lax. Lax is a problem for me. Lax is a big issue. I don't mind booming on his jinx. At least I got it out of the way. Because I can go out to Lapras now, eat up Lax, <laughs> eat up Lax, sing on it, and then hopefully beat him uh, with that. Ha. Ah. Because even then he could have psychic me. Unfortunately, I didn't have Reflect. I, that's why I love Reflect Lax, because if 1v1's opposing Lax, I don't have Rest. Yeah, but Lapras is definitely the play. He goes Chansey. Gonna attempt to sing this. Put him to sleep. Nice. We end up connecting as well. Now we can spam some blizzards. Because uh, blizzards chance to freeze. Uh, it being 90% accurate in this generation and also having that 10% chance to freeze. Uh, and if you get frozen, you are dead in RBY unless I hit you with a fire move. Yeah, so this is really tough for him to switch into. Then at the same time, Chansey is obviously a switch in. But the turn he wakes up, I will go for Sing again. Starmie comes out, no freeze, I'm assuming Thunder Wave is going to happen, so we're going to go Chansey, or Thunderbolt, that's fair. We're definitely just Thunderbolting ourselves. He's going for the freeze himself, doesn't get it, we do get off the Thunderbolt though, no pair. <laughs> As he goes Lax. Now, Lax can definitely boom, I'm going to Thunder Wave on it though. Because if I Thunder Wave Lax, I beat it 1v1. Hyper Beam does not KO, yep. Nice. And I actually expect him to boom here, so I'm actually going to double onto my Jinx. As he goes Executor, which is still a fine play for me, because this does give me time to wake up my uh, Jinx. Right here. that I have to go out into Tor uh, Lapras to beat this guy 1v1. Because Jinx is actually pretty key with Chansey being asleep. Yeah. And we can just click Blizzard. Do as much damage as possible to him. I'm pretty sure Starmie... How much did Starmie take from Blizzard? It took 22 last time. And Confuser is the best play because he's paralyzed. And so am I now. And Fort. Uh, we'll Thunderbolt just in case he wants to risk the Starmie. Executor. All his mons are low for Tauros. I'm going to make my Tauros. I'm going to reveal Tauros now. Because I can spam Body Slam. With all his mons being so low. Starmie, dying. Uh, having Alakazam in the back is also really good for his own Tauros. Especially the fact that I'm Reflect Alakazam. So Body Slam is really good right here because I have the potential to actually get the para on Executor. Which is what I'm going for. Um, and Tauros having that good chance to crit. Let's go Tauros. Doesn't get it on Fort. And Jinx is always my best switch in, even if he wants to double. Oh, I guess a special drop. Uh, oh, I got the wake. Nice. So we'll Blizzard here. Get off as much damage as possible on him. Uh, obviously, I cannot sleep him because... I don't know why I clicked Lugly Kiss last time. I can't sleep him because I... Um, because I... What's it called? I can't sleep him because I obviously put uh, Chansey to sleep. Lapras is looking a little bit expendable, whereas Jinx can actually come in later. So I'm going to sack Lapras here to the Hyper Beam. And let me remember the Tauros versus Snorlax. Calc, Body Slam does not do enough. What's the Jinx Calc? Blizzard does 31 to 36. I think that's the roll I have to go for. It being 90% accurate, obviously. And we get the roll on Snorlax, great. So that Mon is gone, and again, Jinx is looking very, very solid versus my opponent. Tauros comes out. I have to risk the Tauros War. I think I'm going to have to go for game again with my, uh, with my Alakazam in the back. Let me just make sure that Alakazam KOs the Starmie. Mm, doesn't. I'm forked. But I want to keep this Mon alive because it can still beat every Mon on his team. 
So we're gonna risk the Tauros right here. Nice. And this gives me multiple chances to get off damage on Tauros. How much does Hyper Beam from Tauros to Tauros do? Tauros to Tauros. 47 to 57. I don't want to risk him going for the Hyper Beam again. So we're actually going to go Zam. Oh, don't get the Para. I think I had to risk this though. I think I had to. Because um, just a Thunder Wave Tauros. So maybe Jinx can beat it 1v1. I don't know why you wouldn't go for Hyper Beam. Then again, he probably predicted me to switch. Alright, so we get the Para off on Tauros. Chansey can 1v1 his team. Oh, it's going to come down to Chansey freezing, I think. Jinx can also 1v1 every mon on his team. I think I have to go for the Tauros Hyper Beam crit. If I'm not mistaken. Don't get it. But he misses Hyper Beam. Nice. So he can still get a low roll or get paralyzed. I had to go for it. That's why I clicked Thunder Wave there. And now we can go for Body Slam and get rid of this Tauros. Giant threat. Also, Chansey being able to outspeed it because none of my mons are paralyzed. There's the crit. Starmie comes out. I wish I knew the calcs off the top of my head. He can Thunder Wave me. But I think that my Jinx wins the long run. Uh, the game in the long run, anyway. An Executor comes out, and Executor cannot. Executor, oh, you standard. It cannot knock me out with anything but Explosion. Go for Hyper Beam for damage. Beautiful damage. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful damage. That just might be the whole game. Jinx Psychic does not do enough. It's not over yet, bro. I can still miss Blizzard. As we connect. Nice. And that's the game. Because I click Psychic multiple times. I get special drops on that. Nice. Doesn't even wake up. And this is how Jinx wins, just like in our stadium playthrough. Good game. Alright, so we ended up winning this game. Uh, this is just the standard four that he brought. I think I want to bring... I'm going to look at my teams real quick. I definitely... This is best of three, so I have to try and win this next game. Slow bro. He usually brings things that can crit slow bro. But he hasn't brought an Electro-type though. I think the Jolteon slow bro is the play. Can I actually favor? I have to go to dinner now. Oh, want to finish after or another day? Yeah, no problem. Enjoy. All right, so I'm going to pause it, guys, until uh, I get the third battle, and we'll be back. All right, so here we are with game three. After talking to my boy BKC, he said I should just use the same team that I just won with since the guy hasn't been using Electrotypes and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to use the Jinx team again. It's one of my favorite leads. He leads Gengar. Um... Not the worst for me. Definitely not the worst. Because Hypnosis has a, a lower chance of hitting than a Lovely Kiss U2. Uh, what I can do is actually fire off a Blizzard here. I don't expect him to want to stay in on the potential Psychic. But yeah, this is why this isn't the worst lead for me. Because he, again, Hypnosis just has a lower chance to hit than Lovely Kiss is. So we'll just go right for the Blizzard on the incoming Chansey. As we freeze it. Oh my god. So Chansey's dead the entire game. Tansy's actually dead. <laughs> That's unfortunate, man. And I could just spam Psychics now. And just try and 1v1 his team with this, this. I even get a special drop on Lax. Oh my, if I was him, I might just boom. Jinx is just putting in so much work so early on. Chansey being frozen means I don't have to deal with it at all. And if he doesn't get the para here with the body slam, which he doesn't, I can get my kill. And if he actually ends up sacking his Chansey, that means I can also free something else. So this is actually not so good for my opponent right here. Especially because I get to Blizzard this Executor. So, shout out to BKC giving me the advice of bringing in this team. Jinx, I have already revealed his entire team. Or more than, or most of it anyway. And again, I can just Psychic this Chansey. There's no point in, um, really there's no point in not just clicking Psychic versus it. One, it's useless. If I had a setup mod, I would totally go for it here. Especially because uh, Snorax is so low. This is asleep. Like, Tauros is looking really good in the back. The so Chansey is gone, which means I could actually... There's actually Freeze Claws in RBY, so I could actually freeze something else if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to go Lapras, because Lapras can take this on relatively well. And just go for Blizzard. Doing enough damage to Tauros. Uh, Alakazam in the back is also looking really good, with Chansey gone. 
and uh, half his mons being so low. So I believe the Tauros to Lapras Calc is really severely in my favor. We missed the first Blizzard though. Go for another one. He has to go for Hyper Beam now to knock me out. As we do connect the second Blizzard, nice. Now Hyper Beam has to be used to knock me out. Should I let him? Is the question. I kind of think I do want to let him. Yeah, because he, like I said, he had to use Hyper Beam there. He actually does try to predict my switch, so I had I hit him that Blizzard, I would have been able to KO him. However, Tauros e Tauros. And Alakazam Calc, just want to see, the Psychic does 42 to 50. I definitely bring, think bringing in Snorlax is the best play here. Uh, being able just to Body Slam and weaken Tauros to 100% range of Psychic, as well as if he goes a uh, Gengar, which is smart, because I can Earthquake that. As he goes Executor, very smart play on his part, but still weakening Executor for potential sleep. And we'll go Jinx on the sleep powder. And now this does give Tauros a free switch in, but it also gives my Chansey a switch in, and I can just go for Thunder Wave. I can go for Thunder Wave here. He could boom though. I think I want to let him boom. As he goes for Stun Spore. Ah, okay. So we'll double back out into our Chansey. On the Psychic, and we'll just go right for Soft Boil. He wants to go for Stun Spore. Unfortunately, my opponent does miss uh, and what I will do is just go right for Thunder Wave here as he booms. So I get rid of that Mon, which is definitely what I needed for Tauros. And I'm actually going to go Tauros right now because if he goes Lax, Tauros can deal with it. Perfect. And I'll just click Hyper Beam. I'm not going to mess around with this threat. Smart going route to Gengar. But if Hyper Beam doesn't work, I don't have to charge it. As he reveals a Zapdos. All right, so this is a threat. It is definitely a threat. But again, Alakazam is looking very good in the back, so I'm actually just going to go for Body Slam. We're going to try and go for some para action on him, or as much damage as possible on him. Uh, I think the Zapdos Calc is in my favor as well. Yeah, shouldn't be able to KO me. And we do have the chance to, again, paralyze him. Alakazam. Psych does not do enough to Zam though. He doesn't get the roll. And we do manage to connect the Hyper Beam. So that Mon's gonna go down great. And we still do have uh, Snorlax at full. And Snorlax at full is really good for this. Mm hmm. So we're gonna go out to our Snorlax here. I'm actually gonna double out to my Jinx just in case he wants to boom. I would boom if I were him. Yep. Nice. We got the play right. And all I gotta do is win the game with Snorlax into, uh, all I gotta do is click Earthquake with my Snorlax into Alakazam and that's the game. That's the whole game. We're gonna Quake here. Oh, he's going for Freeze though. Doesn't get it and I got the Earthquake damage off that I needed. He's still going for Freeze though, which is definitely his best play. I agree 100% with his play. But I do have Alakazam in the back just to click Psychic. And that should be game. That should be game. Yeah, GG. That Jinx teared through his team. Good lord. Jinx absolutely teared through his team. But we ended up winning. Um, I got lucky, but that's RBY for you. Uh, especially because based on the fact that he was switching around so much. Getting the freeze early on Chansey, literally making it useless. In RBY, if you freeze a Pokemon, it's, it's dead. It's dead unless you hit it with a fire type move. It never thaws. So I think my opponent's mistake was switching into Mons that Jinx does so well versus as well, like Executor for example, that gives me free blizzards, uh, obviously psychic type attacks are really hard to hit, and then him missing Hypnosis turn one, but I ended up winning game three, uh, thank you everybody for watching, hope you guys all, I know mostly you didn't enjoy it because it's RBY, but uh, it's always like, a, RBY whenever, especially like in SBL, whenever I'm watching people play, I always get like, oh my god, oh my god, what, ha what could happen this turn, oh my god, there's a pair, oh my god, but ended up pulling through, so Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.